Every year, thousands of Californians dry clean their clothes. You might think the cost of getting your clothing clean is just a little cash out of your pocket, but the environmental cost can be huge. That's because some of the cleaning solvents used are far from clean, and that's causing a multi-million dollar problem that DTSC is tackling across California. We're here at the Technicam site. This site was used for recycling dry cleaning solvents. This particular property has soil contamination and um, a lot of times the dry cleaning solvents would spill onto the concrete, move into the soil. One of the most common dry cleaning solvents is tetrachloroethylene, also known as PERT. It's a chemical that's terrific for getting rid of dirt and grease, but even at low concentrations, it can be toxic. And if it gets into the soil and groundwater, it can linger there for decades. PERT can possibly affect the air we breathe, as its vapors can migrate through the soil or groundwater and eventually end up inside our homes and businesses. PERC also has been linked to cancer. Solvents in the soil underneath the building can cause indoor vapors, and those vapors can be harmful to people using the buildings. It can get into the groundwater. The groundwater in this location flows into San Francisco Bay. This site is one of more than 300 PERC contaminated sites in California that DTSC is cleaning up. The department is spending millions of taxpayer dollars to protect our environment by removing this toxic chemical from our soil and groundwater. Our job is to get that contaminated soil out so that this site can be used safely. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, you'd be wrong. It turns out that this concrete floor is an integral part of what's holding up the roof. ERRG, the company doing the digging, is taking special precautions to prevent the entire building from collapsing when they cut the concrete floor to get to the contaminated soil. To prevent the building from falling, they divided the floor by lettered sections. Then they strategically dug holes to get to the contaminated soil and keep the building standing. It's a dangerous and precise process that involves hundreds of hours of preparation, execution, and science. Those are undisturbed samples of um, the bottom of our excavation. Lab tests are done on soil samples to measure the depth of contamination. This tells the crew how far they need to dig to be sure that all the toxic soil is removed. The excavated soil is no longer just regular dirt. It's now hazardous waste, which needs to be carefully disposed of. After the contaminated soil has been removed, it's time to fill the resulting hole with new soil. Really, the biggest reason we do this is to make sure that um, people using the building as well as neighbors remain safe. Something as simple as dry cleaning clothes can have a lasting effect on the environment. So play your part. Ask your dry cleaner if they're using PERC or something that's better for the environment and help prevent more expensive cleanups like this one from occurring all over California.